My number eight tight end this year, Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz initially was looking great earlier this offseason when the Cardinals lost Christian Kirk to free agency, but now they traded for Marquise Brown, which I think hurts him more than Christian Kirk gained him. That didn't make any sense, did it? Zach Ertz lost target competition when Christian Kirk left in free agency, so he was looking pretty good, but then the Cardinals traded for Hollywood Brown in the middle of the draft, which is a net worse situation for Zach Ertz. Now going back to last year, AJ Green didn't command targets. Christian Kirk didn't necessarily command targets, but Hollywood Brown is going to command targets. DeAndre Hopkins is going to command targets. So we can potentially see Zach Ertz's target share go down just by a little bit this year. If I had to guess right now, I think Zach Ertz will be third in target share pecking order behind DeAndre Hopkins when he's playing. By the way, he's suspended for six games. So while he's out, he's probably number two behind Hollywood Brown. Now the hope is that Rondell Moore doesn't step ahead of him in terms of target share. And we have to understand the full range of possibilities here. And there is a world where Rondell Moore steps ahead of Zach Ertz in terms of target share. Now it is worth noting that the Cardinals traded for Zach Ertz for a reason. They wanted to use him and they'd used him right away. Starting in week nine, he was running around on 80% of dropbacks and he didn't dip below that once for the rest of the year. He ran the third most routes and had the second most targets among all tight ends for the remainder of the season. Now, I'm a big fan of Trey McBride coming into the NFL as a very solid rookie tight end, has a great career ahead of him, but he's not Kyle Pitts in terms of him making that year one type of impact to where it's going to derail Zach Ertz and his opportunity. We have to remember that normally rookies don't make a huge impact in the passing game, and it usually takes an anomaly for that to happen. I think Urs is going to be a very solid fantasy tight end for you this year. He's going to have some of those boom weeks. He'll finish top two, top three. And he's going in the 10th round right now as the 10th tight end off the board. So that's pretty solid value. If I'm looking for an every week starter and you can get him in the 10th round, solid price. All right, guys, that was my top 10 fantasy tight ends for 2022. If you haven't liked the video already, that would mean the world to me. It would mean even more if you could subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a lot. That would help out the channel. I'm really trying to grow this thing. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, hit me up on Instagram at Upper Hand Fantasy. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.